Greetings, welcome to Facts About Everything, I'm your host James Egan. The United States and Canada celebrate February as Black History Month. As a result, I decided to focus on the African American community throughout February. I thought to myself, I should start with a country. What African country should I do? I should probably Nigeria, Kenya, South Africa. But then I thought, you know what? Why not just do the entire continent of Africa? And if there's any fact that really tickles your fancy, let me know and I can do a video about the entire country. So here is 100 facts about Africa. Let's dive in. Okay, let's do this alphabetically. Algeria. Almost 90% of Algeria is made up of the Sahara Desert. Camel trekking through the Sahara Desert is extremely popular in Algeria. The dunes in the Sahara Desert are so smooth, you can ski on them. Several tour agencies will provide the service so long as you bring your own skis. Algeria is the largest country in Africa and it's the 10th largest in the world. The African country of Angola used to have many large mammals, but most of them were poached during the World Wars. Lona National Park has been recovering as many mammals as possible over the years. In the country of Benin, there's a southern village of Beninua that has akin based names. This means that each person is named after the day they were born. Botswana is home to the clicky language, which is used by the Gossan people. Wait, hold on. Gossan people. There we go. Sorry. There's different clicks. It gets a bit confusing. Burkina Faso has one of the largest elephant populations in Africa. Because of its abundance of rivers and streams, crocodiles are also very common. In Burundi, 90% of the labor force are farmers, making the country almost completely supported by agriculture. The Bantu language originates from Cameroon. The word zombie and jumbo originate from this language. Cameroon's name means river of pawn. In 1986, Lake Nyos in Cameroon suddenly released 300,000 tons of carbon dioxide, killing everything within 16 miles. Nobody knows what caused it. In Cameroon, Dobuncha is the second wettest area in the world. It has more annual rainfall of 400 inches. That's 20 times more than England. Cape Verde is made up of a group of islands. The islands are used as a breeding area for endangered seabirds, including the Iago Sparrow, the Alexander Swiftbird, the Boren's Heron, and the Cape Verde Wobbler. In 1960, in Central African Republic, the population was only 1.2 million. In just over half a century, the population has nearly quadrupled. Chad used to be owned by France. It gained its independence on August 11th, 1960. In Comoros, the boats used by the inhabitants are completely made of wood. Not one single nail is used in their construction. Comoros is home to one of the rarest animals in the world, the living stones flying fox. Since 1996, it has been on the critically endangered list. That means it's more endangered than the giant panda. But that's not the only obscure animal from Comoros. The most famous rediscovered animal ever is the sealkinth. This creature was thought to have been extinct for 60 million years until it was found at the turn of the 20th century in Comoros. Congo Democratic Republic is the poorest country in the world. Despite this, they have a space program. They have never been to space. The Salongo monkeys only exist in one country on Earth, the Congo Republic, which is a completely different country to the Congo Democratic Republic. Djibouti was known as French Somaliland from 1896 to 1967. Djibouti was one of the first countries in Africa to embrace Islam, doing so in the 9th century while Muhammad was still alive. The world's largest fish, the whale shark, is abundant in Djibouti. Despite being 46 feet long and weighing 21 and a half tons, it is completely harmless to humans. Djibouti is home to Lake Assal, the lowest point of Africa at 500 feet below sea level. It is the third lowest point on the Earth's surface, just behind Death Valley and the Sea of Galilee. It is also the world's largest salt reserve. Now let's look at the most famous African country, Egypt. Contrary to popular belief, ancient Egyptians weren't obsessed with death. Most of their culture revolves around farming, hunting, and fishing. They only seem to be obsessed with death because we're obsessed with their concept of death. Although many people assume air pollution is a modern problem, scientists have learned it was a massive concern in ancient Egypt after studying the lungs of 15 mummies. The particles found in the bodies were very similar to those found in car exhaust. Equatorial Guinea was originally called Formosa when it was discovered in 1471, which means pretty flower. The pygmies were the first inhabitants of Equatorial Guinea. A lot of the oldest stuff in the world comes from Eritrea. The port city Adulis is one of the oldest cities in the world. The Greeks founded it in 600 AD. On top of that, one of the oldest human fossils 
ever was excavated in Eritrea. Because of this, the country is nicknamed the Cradle of the Earth. In some parts of Eritrea, adults and children eat separately. Now let's look at Eswatini. If you've never heard of that name, you probably know it better by its original name, Swaziland. It changed its name to Eswatini recently. You probably think there's nobody famous from Eswatini, but you'd be wrong. Richard E. Grant was born there, who's most well known for playing Xander Rice in Logan and the titular role in With Nail and I. It's hard accident. They're throwing themselves into the road gladly. Throwing themselves into the road to escape all this hideousness. In East Watini, there is the Ingwenya Mine on Banyu Ridge, which is 43,000 years old, making it the world's oldest cave. Although Ethiopia is mocked because it's always associated with being poor, it did do one of the greatest things in history. Ethiopia invented coffee. <laughs> Ethiopia has 13 months in its calendar. An Ethiopian paleontologist called Berhan Asfal discovered one of man's ancestors called Homo sapiens in Daltu. An Ethiopian geologist called Gide Wald Gabriel has verified this 160,000 year old fossil as the oldest human ever discovered. Ethiopia is the only country in the world that has never been conquered at any point apart from Russia. Ethiopia is the only African country with its own alphabet. The town of Bekoji has 17,000 inhabitants. The runners from this area have won 30 world championships and 16 Olympic medals. 77% of the country of Gabon is made up of forest. Although most people call this country Gambia, its correct title is The Gambia. It used to be known as the Republic of Gambia. In 1964, the Prime Minister said he wanted to have the word the in the nation's title so it wouldn't get mixed up with Zambia. We'll get to Zambia, don't worry. Ghana has a reputation for being incredibly peaceful to all religions. Religious tolerance is taught in school, so there is no conflict between Muslims, Christians, and other religions. Now let's look at the terribly confusing country of Guinea. When the French colonized the land in 1890, it was known as French Guinea. When it gained its independence in October 1958, it became known as the Republic of Guinea. Because its capital is Conarchy, it was briefly known as Guinea Conarchy to avoid being mixed up with the country Guinea-Bissau. Guinea-Bissau was known as the Kingdom of Gabu until 1867. Until 1980, Guinea-Bissau and the islands of Cape Verde were a single country. Côte d'Ivoire means the Ivory Coast. It got its nickname for its trade in ivory. It is also known as the Teeth Coast. Kenya is home to approximately 850,000 Mazai. The Mazai are a nomadic warrior tribe who are considered to have the best posture in the world. Shoes have been designed based on Mazai footprints to correct Westerners' posture. Despite the fact that the Mazai eat almost nothing except red meat, they rarely ever succumb to cancer or heart disease. This is because red meat is not responsible for cancer or heart problems. It's meat preservatives like additives and salt that is linked to these illnesses. Giraffe Manor is a Kenyan hotel where giraffes hang out at your window. Residents of the hotel are allowed to stroke and feed them. And they will because they are cute. And there's a few famous people from Kenya. Barack Obama's father, Deep Roy, best known for playing the Oompa Loompas in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And would you believe... Richard Dawkins, who famously wrote The Selfish Gene and The God Delusion. Kenyan environmentalist Professor Mathai won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2004. She is the first African woman to win the prize. The Embu tribe dance on stilts while wearing black coats and white masks. Lesotho is the only country that lies completely above 1,000 meters in elevation. Liberia is the cleanest African country. In fact, it's cleaner than the United States or England. 80% of Libya is covered by the Saharan Desert. In Libya, the the ancient city of Leptis Magna was excavated in the 1920s. Although it was 2920 years old when it was discovered, Leptis Magna was so well preserved that tourists can clearly see public monuments, a harbour, shops, storehouses, a marketplace, and residential districts. The movie Madagascar has popularized the idea that the island is a tropical paradise. However, most of the rainforest is on the east coast of Madagascar. Madagascar is a mix of desert, grassland, dry forest, farm, and rainforest. The natives call the island Madagascara, which means this all. Although it is to the east of Africa, Madagascar was settled by Asians before Africans. They arrived in 350 to 550 BC in canoes. Africa, it's like right beside you. Why didn't you just go to it? Legendary explorer Marco Polo famously said that Madagascar was a most noble and beautiful island and one of the greatest in the world and has more elephants than in any country in the world. He stated that the inhabitants of this tremendous atoll ate nothing but camels and that place was veritably crawling with leopards, bears, and lions. Despite this beautiful description, there are no elephants, camels, bears, or lions on Madagascar. In fact, Polo never visited the island in his entire life. 
Hey, lying. It turns out he got Madagascar mixed up with Mogadishu in Somalia. When a Portuguese explorer set foot on the island and named it St. Lawrence 200 years later, it was too late. Although he discovered the country, the name Madagascar stuck. Before the British invaded the country of Malawi in 1891, it was known as Niassa Land. Malawi's flag has three horizontal lines made up of the colors black, red, and green. The top black line has a red sunrise. Black symbolizes the citizens, red symbolizes the blood shed for independence, green represents the vegetation, and the rising sun represents the dawn of a new era. In Mali, the Great Mosque of Dijen is the largest mud brick mosque in the world. The Atlas was invented in Mauritania. In Mauritius, there's a rainbow desert called the Seven Colored Earths in the middle of a jungle. Weirder still, if you disturb the sand, it will reform according to its color. None of the animals on Mauritius are dangerous, even the snakes are harmless. When Arab sailors discovered Mauritius, they called it Dina Arobi. On Mayot, there used to be three turtles exclusive to the island, but two of them became extinct. The only one left on the island island of Mayotte is the Green Turtle. The King of Morocco, Hassan II, grabbed a radio during his assassination attempt and told the rebels who were shooting at his plane, stop firing, the tyrant is dead. This made the assassins cease their attack. Eh, it's pretty sneaky. Morocco produces more couscous than any other country. It is also the largest processor and exporter of sardines in the world. White is the color of mourning in Morocco. A Moroccan widow wears white for 40 days after the death of her husband. In Morocco, the liver, rather than the heart, is considered the symbol of love. Morocco invented the pedestrian crossing light. The most famous actor from Morocco is Juan Marino Herrera Jimenez. To which you might think, if he's so famous, how come I never heard of him? Oh, everybody's heard of him, just people didn't realize he was from Morocco. He's better known by his stage name, Jean Renault, best known for playing the titular role in Leon. You've given me a taste for life. I want to be happy, sleep in a bed, have roots, and never be alone again. Mozambique has one of the best economies in Africa due to its vast supply of petroleum and aluminum. Or aluminium, I, it depends what country you're from, how to pronounce it. Grace Michelle is the first woman to be the first lady in two different countries, Mozambique and South Africa. Three species of rhino have become extinct in Mozambique, due to poaching. Namibia is the fourth largest producer of uranium. It was the largest producer of diamonds in 2015. Niger, yes, that's how you pronounce it, has a tree called the Lonely Tree of Tener. It is the most isolated tree in the world since there is not one single landmark in any direction for 250 miles. The tree stood for 300 years. In 1973, a truck driver crashed into it and destroyed it. How did you not see it? It was literally the only landmark. Nigeria has a population of 182 million, which is the largest population of any country in Africa. This means that one in every seven Africans is Nigerian. A brand new creature was discovered in Reunion in 2015. It is called the Pristonchus formanicus. This creature is a round worm and cannot be found anywhere else in the entire world. Reunion is a pretty weird name for a country, but it had a lot of different names. In the late 13th century, Arab sailors were the first to discover it, but they called it Dina Morgaban, which simply means Western Island. However, they only passed by the island and never set foot there. The Portuguese landed on the uninhabited island in 1513. They called it Santa Apollonia. Before the French colonized the island in the 1640s, it was known as bourbon. Plastic bags are illegal in Rwanda. Because they're murderers. I, I don't know. St. Helena is one of the most obscure countries in the world, but has one of the weirdest facts. St. Helena maintains its entire economy through one main export. Stamps. St. Helena is a tiny isolated island that has large difficulty of managing imports and exports. However, none of that matters to eccentric billionaires who obsessively collect every stamp in the world. The people of St. Helena take advantage of this by constantly printing new stamps for outrageous prices, knowing that somebody is going to buy them. Because St. Helena is so inaccessible, buyers are more willing to spend ludicrous money worrying that someone else might beat them to it on stamps. Because of this, St. Helena has been financially self sufficient since 1980. Sao Tome and Principe is home to the world's smallest ibis, the Sao Tome ibis, and the world's largest sunbird, the giant sunbird. Senegal is derived from the Wolof word Songal, which means our boat. The Seychelles has the largest tortoise in the world. Esmeralda lives on Bird Island, and she weighs a staggering 670 pounds. Sierra Leone had the only English-speaking college in West Africa for over a century, which led to an educational boom in the country. Somalia is one of the only countries that does not have a central form of government. A member of our ancestral family tree 
was discovered in South Africa in 2013. It's called Homo naledi and lived about 2 million years ago at the same time as our ancestors Homo erectus and Homo habilis. Sudan has 35 pyramids which is more than any other country. Sudan was the largest country in Africa until 2011 when South Sudan separated from it. South Sudan has over 60 languages. Haggling is a huge part of Togo. Hagglers might sell a loaf of bread for $1 and a banana bunch for $8. The Tatooine scenes in Star Wars were shot in the country of Tunisia. Many sets are still there as a tourist attraction. The look of the city is based on a real city called Tatooine. If you fell one tree in Uganda, you were expected to plant three trees. Victoria Falls is a 108 meter waterfall that is located on the border of Zambia and Zimbabwe. It is said to be the most beautiful waterfall in the world. At certain times of the day, a rainbow can be seen in the waterfall. So much water pours out of the waterfall that it constantly rains upon the neighboring forest. Zimbabwe has the highest literacy rate in Africa, with 90% of its population being considered illiterate. That's higher than some European countries. And the final fact is about Tanzania. The Gom War was a four-year battle that involved skirmishes, kidnapping, and murder. However, the war was not between people, it was between chimpanzees. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe. Please let me know if there's any African country you want me to do a video about, and I'll upload it as soon as possible. To learn more facts, check out my books. They're available on Amazon, on paperback, and Kindle. Thanks for watching, see you again.